only serving the American people, but you're serving your team. Your team is your lifeline. It's the most important thing to you downrange. There is nothing more important to you in a hairy situation than your teammates. There's no thanks in this line of work. Don't come here expecting someone to say thank you so much for what you're doing. You'll get that from civilians walking on the side of the road just for being in the military. Here, you do the mission, you recock, and you go out again. No one will know what you're doing. No one will know where you are. No one will know what you're working in. They're not going to know the, the context of your job. You're going to be out there with your team. When you leave that country, come back home. That's it. The caliber of people I work with is the highest of the caliber. They've been through assessment selection, they've been deemed, but ultimately their moral caliber and their ability to handle themselves as a normal person from their day-to-day -day life is the highest caliber of people I've ever worked with. I would go anywhere and do anything with any one of these guys that I work with. MARSOC is a mindset where accomplishing the mission is the highest honor. That's the unique thing about MARSOC is that people want to be here and that they have to compete to be here because the guy next to them wants to be here just as much. And if he's putting out more than you, then it shows that he wants to be here more than you do. An enemy fighter had uh, engaged us from our flank. And so myself and another Marine on the rooftop were shot. Uh, third Marine was able to roll off without getting shot. And so. Immediately a bullet went into my shoulder and into my spine. So I just felt a pulsing sensation in my back and kind of slumped over. Saw Ricky, who was the sergeant to my left. He had been shot through the neck and was face down on the rooftop. Uh, tried to triage myself, pick myself up and realized that nothing below my chest was working. And so immediately got on the radio, called my guys, told them that I'd been hit and that Ricky had been hit. And uh, they sprung into action. What you'll find in the MARSOC community is that the mission is planned not just by the team chief or team leader, it's planned by everybody collectively. Maritime interdiction, also known as visit, board, search, and seizure, is one of the capabilities of MARSOC. It includes primarily a boat team as well as helicopter assault force. Mind you, this is all happening in the open ocean, usually in periods of darkness under adverse sea states. You need to be able to work well and cooperate well with others to the point people can trust you, uh, not only with you know the little things, but something as important and as big as your life. Our SOC takes pride in that we're Marines something that comes with that mindset is a desire to consistently seek the next challenge, consistently seek self-improvement. It's that next step to continue doing more. The strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. What was kind of the standard mission that you would execute? The standard practice that we would do is uh, we'd go out and set ambush patrols, uh, try to find guys who were coming to kill us and kill them before they got us. And then there, how often would you actually get contact once you were out set up in an ambush position? I think almost 100% almost of the time.
if you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. If you are going to try, go all the way. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on a park bench. It could mean jail. It could mean derision, mockery, isolation. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance of how much you really want to do it. And you'll do it, despite rejection and the worst odds. And it will be better than anything else you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods, and the nights will flame with fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All the way. All the way. But yeah, the best advice is just... Just do it. The worst thing you can ever do is not. And yeah. When when times get tough, and you and and understand that you're you might fail, and that's okay. I mean, actually, I remember I didn't even pass my first screening. I didn't pass the swim, and I tried. I just didn't pass it. I ended up getting like invited back because like, I had, I guess, the heart they were looking for, and then I had to like prove myself for the next one. But at least got me in the doorway, and it, it devastated me, dude. Uh, but the problem is, is like I didn't quit. I did not pass me that you standard. Learned. You learned. From I it. learned, and I'm just yeah. like. Oh my god! And it, it helped me respect the environment that I was trying to go to even how, more. How serious? How serious yeah. you really had to take it? 